I made this comment to my manager, the head manager, that I was losing my homeschool signature and that I was kind of proud of that. And he was like, wait, you were homeschooled? You're very well adjusted for a homeschooler. Thanks, I think. <laughs> friends. Ugh. It's Saturday. Ugh. Growing up, my mom had us do italic handwriting. Now, do a little Google search. I'll put a screenshot right here of what an italic book looks like. We went through, I want to say, maybe six or seven of these books while I was in elementary and middle school primarily. Basically, it is the definition of italic when you go into your word processor and you select, you know, just a basic italic font. That is what we were learning how to write. Needless to say, we had the neatest handwriting of anyone that we knew when we were first learning. And as we got older, each of us decided to change our handwriting to fit more of our personality style as you do. So it wasn't long before none of us had similar handwriting to each other anymore. Now, if you look at Natalie's handwriting, Michael's handwriting, my handwriting, we each have certain elements of italic still influencing the way we write. And the primary element that I can think of, which none of us have been able to escape, is <laughs> that none of us can actually write in cursive. Now, the style and font that we were learning how to write in calls a certain element of itself cursive, but it really isn't actually cursive. It more resembles just little loops that connect each word. I connect all of the letters in my words. Neither of my siblings do this. They both have very distinct handwriting now that I could pick out from anywhere. My handwriting has always been the worst because I did this. And I think it's really interesting that even though it isn't actually cursive, I found this out when I went to college and everyone else was writing in cursive and they're like, you don't write in cursive. What are you talking about? You just connect all your letters. And I was like, that's cursive. Because according to the font style that I was learning, that is cursive. It's just a lazier version of printing <laughs> because you might think that printing is technically the lazier version of writing until you see what I do. This is how I grew up signing my name. It got to the point where those little fish hooks that I put on my capital J's even when I did actually print according to the font that I was using, I would still add the fish hooks just because it became part of my style. I realize that there are some people out there who 100% still copy the font style that they learned in elementary school. I'm not one of those people. My handwriting has gotten a lot sloppier. I always feel like a child when I sign my name on anything, which is why I've gotten sloppier since I've started working for Panera and signing my name on receipts every day that I'm working. Because I, I don't know, I feel like more of an adult when I just make a scribble on the page instead of like basically printing my name with little loops to connect all the words. I need to cough, so I'm gonna end this video. Yeah, see you tomorrow.